for, for me, I had my ayahuasca experiences first. And so I was in a ceremony with a shaman and there was so much respect and uh, yeah. uh, around it. And that, that's how I treat my psilocybin experiences with the same type of, you know, there's an occasion, it's planned, that it's dark, right. I'm alone, it's big, it's going to be something that's very, I am scared. And so, so that's how I, I've been conditioned to approach it and I quite like it that way. Yeah, and that, that's, the, that's the other thing that uh, Terrence talked about and everybody's talked about and, and I talk about a lot, that the importance of set and setting. You know, people say, how can we use these things safely and, and still get a lot out of it? Well, pay attention to set and setting. Those are the, the two big variables, you know. Plan for it, uh, have an intention and... Uh, uh, you know, and, and arrange your setting so that, you know, number one, you're safe and that's assured. So maybe not on the freeway, maybe not even at a rock concert or whatever. Do it in a place where no one is going to bother you. Uh, no one, at least, that you don't want to bother you. Not the neighbors, not the local constabulary, maybe your, your most significant other or something like that could be close by or, or share it. But setting is important um, and intention, you know, and, and that's part of the whole respect thing. Why am I doing this? What do I expect to get out of it? What, what are we doing this for? Uh, you know, and then the setting, the set. The set is really uh, everything you bring to it, who you are what your expectation is what you know it's it's everything it's you it's your mindset everybody's mindset is different terence told me once when we were young before i'd ever taken lsd he said uh, don't take lsd until you've read psychology and alchemy by jung right and we were reading jung at that time he said don't take lsd You'll get much more out of it if you do that. Well, I hadn't read Psychology and Alchemy when I, when I took them the first time. Um, but later I did, and I realized what he meant. I mean, a lot of the things that came up, it, uh, Psychology and Alchemy is a, a kind of a good map for a lot of the sort of uh, gestalts and ideas that come up during a psychedelic experience. So. So setting is one thing, and set is the other variable, which you, which is much trickier, but they're both important. Right. You know, I find with ayahuasca, I get a distinct, finite set of lessons, like one, two, three. This is what we need to go do. Sometimes it's very related to plant symbiosis. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's related to some relationship things I need to do. Very much usually those. I used to tell right. people, you are usually not uh, t uh, being confronted with your IPO on an ayahuasca experience. Um, it's very deep. But with psilocybin, sometimes I don't know any specific lessons afterwards. The day or two afterwards, I, I don't have in my mind that I need to go do this, this, and this. Is that something you hear a lot? Is that something that's typical to have the, the kind of different experiences? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. I mean, I, I, ayahuasca is often much more of a, a counselor in some ways, or it does give you ideas about what you should be doing or, you know, like you say, your relationships or insights into this whole, uh, you know, mission that we're engaged in, which is to save the planet ultimately, but the, you know, that the plant-human symbiosis thing, uh, it's much more about that. Um, mushrooms are not that way so much. Uh, mushrooms... Yeah, they don't really lay out an agenda. They sort of just uh, lay down a wrap, more or less. And it's like, you know, they just download information like they did at La Chirera, and they say, well, this is what it is. This is what's going on here. And you say, well, but that's crazy. You know, and they say, sorry. <laughs> that's what it is. You know, deal with it. <laughs> Would Terrence call it having a conversation with the leprechaun or having a conversation and, yeah. and you want to engage in the conversation and they're not answering your questions? 
well, they're 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 dodgy. They're right. they're very tricky. You know, they're elfin. They're uh, mischievous. I mean, this is the whole thing. You know, and this this comes up again with uh, discussions of also DMT, and and mushrooms are really a, a form of DMT. They're really a, the uh, orally active form of DMT. If you understand the chemistry, right? Okay. Psilocin is uh, one molecule away from DMT. It's 4-hydroxy dimethyltryptamine. So that hydroxy group is just different enough that it's orally active without an MAO inhibitor, right? So right. It, it really is DMT. And at the higher doses you, you get into those areas, you see, yes, this is, this, is, this is tryptamine land. This is the tryptamine space. And mushrooms, ayahuasca, and DMT all get you into that place, right?